have to do all three. You can do just two of them or whichever one works for you best. I'm doing all three, partly as a demonstration and partly to challenge myself to do all three, but that doesn't mean that you have to. filming himself from inside a cheese grater. The idea with this one is to sing a little bitty light sound, not a big operatic full sound, but just touching the note. process at 10 in the morning my voice is now at this note is wanting to flip into pure falsetto that's not a mixture it's just head voice for me but it for each of you it'll happen at a different place because all of us our break is at a slightly different place Thanks to Teal Miller telling me how, I can now see more than 25 people on one screen. Now let's do this. it as NG with your mouth mostly closed. Slightly different than a hum. on a Mac, but that doesn't have anything to do with it. It's a setting in Zoom. If you go down on my screen, it's the bottom left where the video icon is. There's a little tiny arrow that you can mouse over that gives you some more settings within video. And under video settings, there you can click an option that says either 25 participants or 49 participants. And I clicked 49, that's how I got there.
I'm trying to remember to go slow and be careful on these exercises. It'd be real easy to go. Which works for some people, but sometimes I find if I go too fast, I don't do the exercise correctly or I don't do it correctly on every note. I was trying to remember that this morning when I was doing my push-ups. One way to do push-ups is just as fast as you can, as many as you can. Another way to do it is slow and careful and try to control the weight and they have different benefits. There's this, um, there's this YouTube channel that I stumbled across. It's a Japanese man who built a little camper on the back of his tiny little pickup truck. And the, the camper is big enough just for a fold out bed and some cooking stuff. And then all his pots and pans and propane and stuff is attached on the walls. And there's no talking in any of the videos. And it, all the, the plot of all the videos is the same. It's Friday or Saturday. He's done with work for the week. He goes to the grocery store and gets food and he drives to a remote spot somewhere in Japan and goes camping overnight. And it shows him preparing his meals, washing the dishes, folding out his bed, going to sleep, waking up, making breakfast, <laughs> doing the dishes, driving home. They're all, they're all the same. Sometimes they're in the summer, sometimes they're in the winter, and it's him by himself. He's setting up, he's got cameras set up in various places. He even will set up a camera across the parking lot and drive in and then go get the camera and bring it over so it looks like somebody's filming him. But what I find fascinating is the Zen nature of all the videos. You know, he's methodically wiping down the table, methodically preparing the meal. Everything is done slowly and carefully and with great intent. And there's something very, um, satisfying and peaceful and pleasing about the fact that he's not rushing through any of the activities like he's finding joy in the making of the meal he's finding joy in the doing of the dishes and being alone on the camping trip anyway i'm trying to apply that where i can activities that i would tend to rush through and do without thinking or without being mindful i'm trying to remind myself I can just be present in this moment, even when I'm brushing my teeth or doing push-ups or doing vocal exercises. I don't have to rush through everything and try to get to the next thing. I can just be in this moment doing this thing right now and trying to be careful about it because it has meaning unto itself. It's purposeful. So I don't, I don't always do that consistently because my, you know, my life pattern has been Brushing teeth isn't important, so I'll rush through it. Vocal exercising isn't important, so I'll rush through it. Push-ups aren't important, so I'll rush through it. And then I get to the next thing. The next thing is what's important. Well, maybe, maybe more things can be important. Okay, let's look at something we haven't really looked at much yet. We touched on it in one of my live rehearsals, but, but we need to spend a little more time with it. Joy in the Morning The red, has a red cover, Emily Crocker. One of my editors at Hal Leonard who rejects nine out of 10 things that I send to her. She doesn't, she doesn't work there anymore, but, but while she did, she, uh, she shot me down a lot. Okay, sopranos. Here we go, sopranos, right where you sing. Joy, joy, ready, go. Joy, joy, one, two, three, four, five. Joy, joy, off. And then you have this note or this note to choose from. Okay, pick whichever one you want. Here we go, sopranos, ready, and. Joy, joy, one, two, three, four, five, six. Joy, joy, one, two, three, four, five, six. Two, one, two, arrest. Rest, joy, rest, rest, joy, rest, rest, joy, rest, 
rest, joy, rest, rest, joy, joy shall be yours in the morning. That's it. Let's go back. Sopranos, ready to ready go. Joy, joy, one, two, three, four, five. Joy, joy, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, two, ready and rest, rest. Joy, 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 joy shall be yours in the morning. Altos, let me hear you, please. So, altos, you come in one measure after the sopranos. They have this, and then you come in. So start right where you sing altos. Ready, go. Joy, 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 joy. So at that point, you have a choice of two notes, either this note or this note. Okay. Here we go again. Right where you sing altos. Ready, go. Joy, 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 one, joy, joy, one, joy, joy, mm. joy, joy, mm. joy, joy, mm. joy, 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 joy shall be yours in the so this, this is one of those songs that might be a little bit confusing at first, and then after a while you'll get the hang of it. Um, the way it's been written, it sort of sounds like bells. The J sound of joy and the fact that everybody's singing at different rhythms and the notes that she chose, when we put it all together, it's gonna sound like bells ringing. Altos, let me hear you again, please. One to a right where you sing joy 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 one joy joy one joy joy one joy joy mm. joy joy mm. Joy, joy, joy shall be yours in the morning. Thank you, basses and tenors, for being patient. Uh, your part is different. It's quite different because you end up having the melody, so I kind of have to rehearse them separately. So let me hear sopranos and altos together. Sopranos, you start with this, and then altos. Here we go. Sopranos and altos. Ready, go. maybe do it with the track so you can hear the, the piano accompaniment under, underneath it and kind of get a sense of it that way. Let me hear the basses, please. Actually, let's do basses and tenors together. The only time you split is this octave at the very beginning, bass, tenor, and then everything else is, to, is together, but you have a bunch of those octaves. Here we go, basses and tenors, ready, and... Joy, joy. Oh, 
excited draw us in by your fire to bide villagers who this frosty tide joy shall be yours in the morning and i need my glasses I think I said a wrong word. Villagers all this frosty tide. Let your door swing open wide. The wind may follow and snow beside. Yet draw us in by your fire to bide. Villagers all this frosty tide. Okay, let's just do the melody part. Basses and tenors. This is last measure, top of four. We'll go a little bit slower. Basses, this is awfully high for basses. So you can either sing it down an octave or sing it in falsetto like I'm doing. Here we go. The melody part, last measure, top of four. Ready, go. Villagers all this frosty tide, let your doors swing open wide. The wind may follow and snow beside, yet cross in by your fire to bide. Villagers all this frosty tide, joy shall be yours in the morning. One more time. Villagers all this frosty tide, let your doors be open wide. The wind may follow and snow beside, yet cross in by your fire to bide. Villagers all this frosty tide, Joy shall be yours in the morning. Let's try putting the parts together. I'll play as many as much as I can. I won't be able to catch everything because they overlap. Here's bass and tenor that enter at the same time as soprano. So the first two bars sound like this. Ready, go. Because the altos enter a measure later. Does that make sense? I'll play as much as I can. Here we go. Right where we sing. One, two, oh, ready, go. Let's do just soprano and alto for a minute because I think after a minute you guys can be independent of me and I can focus on the part that's more active. So soprano and then alto. Just the sopranos and altos by yourselves. One, two, oh, ready, go. Alto, soprano, alto, mm. Maybe I'll do better if I sing the bass baritone and play the alto soprano. And then my if you see my head exploding, you know that I've exceeded my own capacity. Here we go, right where we sing. Two, ready, everybody. So it makes sense. One more time. The hardest thing for me is coming in on that first uh, joy after the long joy on oh, yeah. Well, yeah. where to come in. Yeah, so the long one is joy, one joy. 
joy, and the and the chord on the long joy is this: bass, tenor, alto two, alto one, soprano two, soprano one. Let's try it again, shall we? So here's soprano, here's alto, here's bass, here's tenor. Two, ready, go. Joy, joy, joy. Villagers on this frost it died. Let your joy be open wide. The wind may follow and now beside it draw us in by your fire to bide. Villagers on this frosty tide, joy shall be yours in the morning. So that's just an introduction to that piece. Okay, let us uh, move on a little bit to Hava Nashira. Hava Nashira. Here we go. Say after me, Hava Nashira, and then Shir Hallelujah. That's all, that's the whole text for the whole song. And after we learn this uh, first two pages, then that's basically the whole song also. Then we ended up, we end up singing it in like a canon or a round. Here we go. Two, ready, sing. Hava Nashira, Shir Alleluia. Hava Nashira, Shir Alleluia. Hava Nashira. again that's basically the whole song that's a little bit of a variation near the very end but that's basically the whole song one two ready go So at that point, everybody's singing the melody on their own, with, staggered by four measures. Okay, let's start at 23 with the soprano. So one, two, ready, go. Altos, get ready. Here we go. And then 
bass and tenors. Does that make sense to everybody? And then at the top of eight, we're singing unison again, just like the beginning all the way to bottom of nine and then, and then a couple of notes change for the ending. So here's top of eight, measure 45, a one, two, top of eight. That's the only part that's different. Sopranos, let me hear your last four measures, please. One, two, ready, go. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Altos, let me hear your last four measures. One, two, altos. Altos, two, three, go. Alleluia. Altos and sopranos together, two, last four measures. and tenors, last four measures. Two, ready, go. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So some of you uh, ladies that are singing tenor, you might have to take some of those notes up an octave. So instead of going bum, bum, you might have to go bum, bum. flats might be too low depending on who you are. Let me hear the basses and tenors together. Here's the written note. Here's the note that I'll give you as an alternate to ready go. All the parts together. Bass and tenor or tenor. Alto soprano. Two, ready, go. Dum, dum, dum. <coughs> um, okay? That's one that you can learn probably pretty quickly on your own with the rehearsal tracks because it's so much uh, unison melody. Let us keep moving onto harder pieces such as Midwinter Carol. Uh, let me hear basses and tenors right at the top of page three.
basses, let me hear you by yourselves, please. Top of four, a measure 15. Silent snow, basses, 15, a one. Ready, go. Silent snow had fallen. Snow on snow. In the bleak midwinter. One, two, three. Long, so long ago. One more time, basses. One, fifteen. Silent snow had fallen. Snow on snow. In the bleak midwinter. One, two, three. Long, so long ago. Don't you wish we were making a virtual choir video of this? Just going to wait and see everybody's reaction. Everybody's like, no, I don't want to ever again. Tenors, let me hear you. Same spot. One, two, three. Silent snow had fallen. Snow on snow in the bleak midwinter. One, two, three. Long, so long ago. That little one measure break at the top of five is absolute genius songwriting. It makes the last phrase so much more poignant that he, that he or she, is it a he? That he waited. Later on, he doesn't wait because the, the effect has already been used. But in the bleak midwinter, what? Hmm. Long, so, I think it's beautiful. Tenors and basses together, 15. One, two, three. Fifteen, one, ready, go. Silent snow had fallen. Snow on snow. In the bleak midwinter. Long, so long ago. Altos again. Actually, let's, let's add the bass and tenor, but we'll focus on the alto. Bass, tenor, alto. One, ready, go. Silent snow had fallen. Snow on snow in the bleak midwinter. One, two, three. Long, so long ago. Sopranos, one, two, three. Silent snow had fallen. Snow on snow. In the bleak midwinter. One, two, three. Long ago. That is a beautiful melody. If you're going to reset this song, if you're going to dare, if you're going to have the hubris to write a new melody to this incredible song, you better, you better come with a good one. And this uh, Victor Johnson did. Here we go. 15 sopranos. A one, two, three. Silent snow had fallen. Snow on snow in the bleak mid winter. One, two, three. Long 
All the parts together. Bass, tenor, alto, soprano. Oh, one, two, three. part we didn't really look at is bottom of three, sopranos and altos. Let me hear the sopranos there. Earth stood hard as iron. One, two, three. Earth stood hard as iron. Water like a stone. Sorry, I goofed that up. Sopranos again. A one, two, Three, earth stood hard as iron, water like a stone. Alto, let me hear you there, please. One, two, three. Earth stood hard as iron, water like a stone. Once again, altos, or oh, one, two, three. Earth stood hard as iron, water like a stone. Now put some sopranos together. One, two, three. So let's go back and do the whole thing starting top of three with the basses and tenors. I think this is a really beautiful piece. Uh, one, two, three. In the bleak midwinter, frosty wind made more. And. move on to uh, a wreath of carols. Bottom of seven. Kling, glöchen, kling. Kling, glöchen, kling. Helps if you make a face. So watch my pronunciation. You may have been over this in your rehearsals, but it's kling, and we close to the ng, kling, glöchen, kling. The gl is the, is kind of this sound and this shape, gl, and then the ch, glöchen, kling. German is sometimes very challenging to pronounce and to sing. Kling, glöchen, klingelingeling. Kling, glöchen, kling. Kling, glöchen, klingelingeling. Kling, glöchen, kling. Little bells are ringing, little children singing. Happiness before us, join the merry chorus. Basses, let me hear you. This is at 48, bottom of seven. Basses, two, ready, go. Kling, glöchen, kling. Kling, glöchen, kling. Kling, glöchen, kling. Join the 
merry chorus. Once again, basses. Measure 48, bottom of seven. One, two, ready, go. Cling, blechen, cling, cling, blechen, cling. Cling, blechen, cling, cling, blechen, cling. Little bells are ringing, little children singing. Happiness before us, join the merry chorus. Tenors. I feel like the rehearsal today is a little bit like a movie that starts and end. There are four plots. And you just are in episode one, you just get introduced to four plots and you have no idea that they're all going to get tied together by the end of the series, which is, you know, a year away. We're just touching on little fragments of these songs. How can it possibly, how, how are we ever going to learn them? Here we go, tenors. Two, ready, go. Cling, blechen, cling, cling, blechen, cling. Basses and tenors together. Here's bass, here's tenor. One, two, ready, go. Let me hear you, please. Two forty eight altos. Cling, lechen, cling, cling, lechen, cling, cling, lechen, cling, cling, lechen, cling. Little bells are ringing, little children singing. Happiness before us, join the merry. Altos, one, two, altos, go. Cling, bluff, and cling, cling, bluff, and cling, cling, bluff, and cling, cling, bluff, and cling. Little bells are ringing, little children singing. Happiness before us, join the merry chorus. Bottom three parts, bass, tenor, alto, two, ready, go. Wednesday in rehearsal and like seriously nobody laughed. I said, what do you get when you put your lurchen in the in the dryer with no fabric softener? You get a you get a cling lurchen. Uh, maybe it's the delivery. It's either the material or the delivery or the person doing the delivery. One of those one of those is not is not happening. One or more. Here we go, sopranos, two, ready, go. Cling, blechen, cling, a ling, a ling, cling, blechen, cling. 
kling, löchen, klingelingeling, kling, löchen, kling. Little bells are ringing, little children singing. Happiness before us, join the merry chorus. Let's try all the parts together. Kind of a cute little song, right? Uh, bass, tenor, alto, soprano. Two, ready, go. Let's get a sense of kind of how that flows from a previous section. Let's maybe let's let's go from um, the first page. I think we can probably do this. Right, pickups to measure nine. I saw three ships. Two, ready, go. I saw three ships come sailing in. On Christmas Day, on Christmas Day, I saw three ships come sailing in on Christmas Day in the morn. Was in the ships all three on Christmas Day, on Christmas Day. To keep going and... So that's quite a lot. You may you may have nailed your notes, or you may not have. Uh, basses, let me hear you, please. Pickups to top of five. And what was in those ships all three on Christmas Day in the morning? Basses two, ready, go. And what was in those ships all three on Christmas Day in the Let's add the tenors, basses and tenors together, starting at the pickups to top of five. And what was in those ships all three? Here's the bass, here's the tenor. Two, ready, go. Thank you. 
love that kind of it's that's that in theory terms is called a deceptive cadence so you expect it to go one way and then it and then it goes another way altos let me hear you actually let's add the altos so pickups to five bass tenor alto here's bass tenor alto we're going and what was it here we go one two oh ready go have the tricky part there morning you gotta make it major let's try everybody out uh, sopranos I think have their part here's bass tenor alto soprano this is pickups the last note of four going into top of five and what was it here we go one two ready everybody still alive getting your notes I applaud you for showing up and for and for working hard and trying I know it's challenging over zoom and all that I know the music the, the music's challenging in any situation uh, but maybe more so over zoom so I applaud you for, for showing up okay so let's try this transition again and all the bells on earth shall ring this is top of seven Transitioning into Kling, Glöchen Kling. Here we go. Two, ready, go. And all the bells. Sopranos, this is bottom of nine, last two measures. Ring, little bells. One more time. Let's let's go back two measures. Let's go to measure seventy. Sopranos, ready, go. Kling, glöchen, kingalingaling, ring, little bells. Alto, same spot. Measure 70. Ready, altos. Kling, glöchen, kling, ring, little bells. Alto, 
and soprano together at 70. Here's alto, here's soprano. Two, ready, go. And. Off. Make sense? Tenors, measure 70. Two, ready, go. Cling, glug, and cling. Got ring little bells. Nice and high. Here we go. A a tenor, alto, soprano. Two, ready, go. And two, one, two, off. Basses, let's hear you. Two, ready, go. Kling, glug, and kling, ring, little bells. Everybody at 70. Here's the bass, tenor, alto, soprano. We'll go slow. One, and two, and kling, glug, and for another day. Let's keep moving, shall we? What do I have next? I have uh, Carol of the Bells. Carol of the Bells. Sorry. Okay, so this is similar in a lot of ways to other versions you've sung, but, but a little bit different, particularly for the basses and tenors, I find. Let's start with basses and tenors, top of four. Basses and tenors, top of four, ding, and we're and we're um, we're closing to the ng throughout. A one, two, three, one, two, three, ding, dong, ding, dong. One seems to hear words of good cheer from everywhere, filling the air. Oh, how they pound, raising the sound o'er hill and dale, telling their tale. Gaily they ring while people sing songs of good cheer. Christmas is here. Ding, ding, dong, ding. going too fast. I'll go a little bit slower because it's kind of a mouthful if you haven't sung it before. Here we go, basses and tenors, oh, top of four, oh, one, two, three, mm. ding, dong, ding, dong. One seems to hear words of good cheer from everywhere, filling the air. Oh, how they pound, raising the sound, oh, hill and dale, telling their tale. Gaily they ring while people sing songs of good cheer, Christmas is here. Ding, ding, dong, ding, ding, dong, ding, ding dong, ding, dong. Altos, let me hear you from where you begin singing. So back on the first page, altos. Here we go, altos. So one, two, three, ready. Ding, dong, ding, dong, ding, dong. One, two, three, 
words of good cheer from everywhere filling the air. Oh, how they come raising the sound, oil and air, nailing the chair. Daily they ring while people sing songs of good cheer. When mothers hear, ding, ding, dong, ding. I picture this guy, he comes home to his wife and he says, hey, I wrote a new song. It goes like this. Wait for it. What do you think, honey? The words are, prim I don't really have the words worked out yet. They are primarily dings and dongs. Genius, right? <clears throat> kind of is. Okay, so let's just do altos and tenor basses. Sopranos, you're being very patient. So altos start bottom of three, and then the tenors and basses come in four bars later. <clears throat> One, two, three, altos, and... Here come the tenors and basses. play at the same time uh, let's start where they where you guys are together last measure top of four try to do a better job uh, one two three Let's try it with the sopranos. Sopranos come in four bars before everybody. Middle of the first page, sopranos. A one, two, three, one, two, three. for me to play probably easier for you to sing if I'm not even playing or if I'm doing the accompaniment sopranos can I hear you by yourselves for a minute let's go uh, measure 21 which is bottom of four one seems to hear sopranos uh, basses and tenors and altos if you want to sing along here's the bass and tenor note here's the alto note Sopranos, focusing on sopranos, a one, two, three, four, five, six. right back to the first page. Let's try a little bit of this with the track to see if uh, full mix all parts. Here we go. Carol of the Bells, full mix all parts. Tenors. Tenors. 
That's a little taste of that one. Let's move on to A Christmas Gloria. Let's see how we do on this one. A Christmas Gloria, full mix, all parts. what's going on here because not all of you may know when we get to when we get to page five and we finish the first ending we are going to add two measures that aren't written you can just write add two measures or plus two bars or something we're inserting two measures of piano and then we're going back to the top of four where we are going to sing verse one in Spanish. So we sing everything up into up to page five, we sing the first ending, we add two measures, and then we go back to top of four in Spanish. We sing four in Spanish, we sing the Gloria in Excelsis part again, we get to the first ending again, this time we go back to page one as written. We sing that in English. See where the repeat bar is on page one, or it's actually labeled page two, but it's the first page. There's a repeat there. We sing that whole section again that we sang at the beginning. Now we come to page four for the third time. We're going to sing verse two in English. 
We're going to get to the first ending. We're going to add two measures and we're going to sing verse two in Spanish. Then we're going to take the second ending and finish the song. So this is actually shortening the song form. The way it's written, you go back to the beginning every time and we're not going to do that. This is actually a little bit less work, even though we're sort of talking through it this way. It may sound confusing at first, but it's not really. Let me say it again in a different way. Page two, page three, page four, page five, page four in Spanish, page five, back to the beginning. Page two, page three, page four, second verse, page five, Back to page four, second verse in Spanish. Page five, second ending, continue. And by the time we perform it, we will have talked about it and rehearsed it so much that you, you'll have it in your brain. Okie doke. Repeat after me, please. Angel, this is a top of four sopranos and altos, the, the first verse in Spanish. Angeles celestiales cantando nos noel. Just that much again. One, ready, go. Angeles celestiales cantando nos noel. Keep going. Niño es Cristo, Jesús Emmanuel. So in English we say Emmanuel. In Spanish it's Emmanuel. Once again, sopranos and altos, top of four. One, ready, go. Angeles celestiales cantando nos noel. Niño es Cristo, Jesús Emmanuel. Tenors and basses, you come in at 27 with this. One, ready, Go. Este niño es Cristo, Jesús Emmanuel. Once again, tenors and basses. Este niño. One, ready, go. Este niño es Cristo, Jesús Emmanuel. So let's try it with the notes, real slow. Top of four. One, ready, go. Cantando nos noel, este niño es Cristo, Jesús Emmanuel, and then Gloria in excelsis. Let's do page four in English. Page five with the first ending. I'm going to add the two measures that I talked about. Then we're going to do page four in Spanish. And we're going to do it kind of slow. This is slower than performance tempo. Here's page four in English. One, ready, go. Oh, hear the angels, their joyful tidings tell. Measure one, 
to Spanish. Angeles Celestiales, que de llanto nos no da. Este niño es Cristo, Jesús So every time it goes back to page one, which I guess is just one time, you have four measures to get ready because of where the repeat bar is. So let's try that much with the track just to get the flow of things. A Christmas Gloria, full mix, all parts. Measures, one measure. Here we go. Glory to God on high, on the earth be peace and goodwill to all. For unto us a child is born, to us a son is given, who now is come from heaven. Glory to God on high, on the earth be peace and goodwill to all. For unto us a child is born, to us a son is given, who now is come from heaven. One measure, two measures, top of four. Back to page one. Two measures, three measures, four measures. Here we go. Glory to God on high, on the earth be peace and goodwill to all. For unto us a child is born, to us a son is given, who now is come from heaven. Glory to God on high, on the earth be peace and goodwill to all. For unto us a child is born, to us a son is given, who now is come from heaven. that part that's verse two in Spanish how you doing it's a lot of material I know I think that's a good stopping place for today thank you so much for your kind attention and hard work we are going to uh, chip away we're gonna we're gonna complete this journey of a thousand miles with uh, single steps each week we're going to chip away at a little section of it, and before you know it, you're going to learn this material just like you do every semester. Thank you, Paul. To me, this was the hardest one. Yeah. This is the hardest one. Yeah, you're learning language and notes at the same time. And go, going faster, too. And very yeah. fast. Quick. Paul? Yes. And, and,
Was there a question? Just practice, practice, practice. Uh, <laughs> I recommend the rehearsal tracks. I think they're like uh, extremely helpful. I, I think, you know, ho hopefully they are to you too, but I think that's a great way to, to practice on your own is with the tracks. And if you use the YouTube versions, you can slow them down. Mm -hmm. So. Thanks for that, Paula. Helpful. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Great rehearsal. Thank you so much. I want to know what Alan's background.